Hey guys, it's Ashley, and today we're going to be unboxing the September Alcrate and Alcrate Jr. Let's just get into it. I have really sharp scissors now, so easy cutting. All right, this is Alcrate Jr. Ooh, there's a ghost. So the theme this month is ghosts and ghoulies. First up, I pulled out this adorable little patch. It just says Ghost Hunter on it, and it's super, super cute. I pulled it off of its backing, but the next thing that we have is a crafted van bookmark. It is just a cute little ghost, and he's scared of something. Next up, I have a Nightmare Before Christmas Funko Pop. I have no idea what is inside. Let's find out. What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? Oh my god, Jack! I think his name is Jack. Okay, I've actually never seen The Nightmare Before Christmas, um, so you all can hate me now. I have this adorable little pin for the Alcrate pin of the box. There's a lot of things in this one. Oh my god. I also have these cute Halloween stickers. Look at how adorable these are. Oh my god. There's little ghosts and cats and witches and pumpkins. It's so cute! Oh, apparently it's by a company called Sticky. It's a subscription box for sticker lovers. That's really cool. <laughs> Next up, I have a little booklet that looks like this. It's from National Geographic Kids, and it's called Funny Fillin' My Haunted House Adventure. This is like way back when, um, on road trips, when you used to go to the store and you'd buy like a Mad Libs. If you remember this, if you're if you guys did this when you were younger like I did, but you'd get something called Mad Libs and it was like these little booklets where you'd fill in like a story with like different like nouns and verbs and adjectives without actually reading the story and then you'd read it and it would just be so ridiculous. Bringing back those childhood memories. <laughs> All right, and then next up I have this adorable tote bag. It just says trick or treat on one side with a bunch of little ghosts and on this side it says trick or treat with a big ghost. It's so, so cute. This is a massive tote bag also. It's got really long handles. And I'm assuming that this is meant to be used trick-or-treating. If I went trick-or-treating, I would use it, but I don't, so I'm gonna find some other use for it. And so the book of this month's box is City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. Um, which I can vouch for is a very very good book because I have already read it I actually read the arc and it was so so good So I highly recommend so this book is about a girl named Cass who has the ability to pull the veil back from the living and the dead realms So she can basically step into the realm of the dead and see the dead people and find out their stories and things like that um, Because she drowned and then came back to life. She has this ability so one day her parents who are famous writers and and who write about you know ghosts and hauntings and things they land a tv show gig in edinburgh scotland which is of course one of the most haunted cities i think that's what it's called um in the world and so she goes on this adventure to edinburgh with her ghost sidekick and has to figure out what's happening because there's a lot of stuff that's going on and she meets new people and she finds out things and there's like a big ending to it all and it's a really really good book and I highly recommend it was a very fun time included with the book I have a cute little miniature poster I also have a letter from Victoria Schwab and a signed book plate okay apparently Alcrate Jr. is also doing these little newsletters inside of every box so this is super fun Interviews with Victoria Schwab, interviews with vendors, artists, different things like that. Um, so I'm definitely gonna read that later. And the theme for the October box is called Mail Call. Um, because I do these so late in the month, I don't know if this box is still available. So check that out definitely if you're interested. And you can use my code of Ash to get 10% off your order if you would like. And now we are moving on to Aloe Crates, the YA box. Um, we're gonna find out what the heck is in this massive box and why it is so massive. Ooh, filled to the brim. Here is the box. So the theme of this month was Masters of Disguise. I know that they said they got a new artist for their postcards. Um, that is super, super pretty and definitely a step up and I absolutely love it. I already see something that I'm super excited about, but I'm not gonna get to it yet because it's at the bottom of the box. We're gonna open this mug first. I feel like I've seen this on other people's Instagrams and things, so this is kind of not really a new news to me, but I haven't seen it up, person, up close in person. So this is what the mug looks like, you guys. You've got the night bus and I think Sirius is on that side and then the Dementors and Remus and Peter and Harry and 
Oh my goodness. And then, wait, yeah, the stag. <laughs> So cute. I think they call it the Moritor's mug. And then next up we have a bath soak, which is really awesome. This is called Nemesis Foaming Bath Soak by Lilu's, which is the company. And that is what it looks like. Oh, this is not what I thought that they were. I thought that these were socks. They are not, but they're still kind of cool. They are fingerless gloves. Wait, fingerless? Wait, what? Well, this isn't gonna help a thief because your fingerprints are gonna be everywhere, but it does make you look cool. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Next, I got a chapstick. I love these chapsticks from Geek Fire Lab. This one is from The Kiss of Deception. It's apple spearmint, which sounds so good. Next up, we've got the pin of the box. Next up, we have something that I've never gotten before in a box. It is nail polish. Look at that, it's like this gold metallic nail polish and it's inspired by The Grim Lovelies, which is a new book that's coming out, um, or it's already out. I'm unboxing this late, so that's, I'm sorry. Next up is the thing that I was super excited about to see at the bottom of this box, and it is a Lila Bard print. Look at how badass she looks. Look at her. She's beautiful, I love her so much. So the book of this month's box is called Mirage by Samaya Dodd. Um, this book looks gorgeous. Let me read what it's about. It says, adventure comes for Amani in a way that she never could have expected. She's kidnapped from her village and taken captive in the royal palace. There she discovers that she has an uncanny resemblance to the much revered and hated Princess Merim. Amani is forced to impersonate the princess during public appearances, fearing for her life at every turn. One wrong move could cost her everything. Mirage is a stunning debut with the sci-fi fantasy setting inspired by author Samya Dodd's Moroccan background. That sounds really, really good. I'm so excited for this. Included with the book was a letter from the author, and the book is actually signed by the author, so we don't have a book plate. And then we have the Owl Crate newsletter for September, which I am going to read later. The theme for the next month's box is called Lost in the Bookstore, which I'm super excited about. Um, because who doesn't like to get lost in a bookstore? Come on. Like I said with the Owl Crate Jr. box, this box may or may not be sold out already, so I would double check that, but I'm sure the November box is going to be amazing anyway, so, um, you definitely have some good choices here. And you can use my code of Ash to get 10% off your next box if you are interested. So guys, that is going to be it for these unboxings. Thank you once again to Elle Crate for sending me them. I love them so, so, so much. As I've mentioned before, if you're interested in getting your own box, you can use my code of Ash for 10% off. But other than that, that is going to be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you later. Goodbye.